Hello, I'm Brad Exton with Fast Fuel Systems, and I have something crazy for you all today. What I have here is a snap-on meter. We're going to be reading fuel pressure right here. Okay? I have a gallon and a half, approximately a gallon and a half of water right here with almost two gallons of fuel in here. You can see how clear it is. We're going to be pouring that water in here. I'm going to turn the power supply on now. We have a 10 amp fuse. We're sucking fuel in right here through the serviceable uh, wire screen, stainless steel mesh up to the pump. This is where the air is separated out, but also this is where our extreme water separation capability takes place. I'm going to show you that this is only, you know, we've had done tests in the past that this is only past, this is separating out 99.96% of the water. So we're putting virtually pure fuel, separating out the air, the dirt, putting virtually pure fuel to the engine. This is a brand new 2019 Ram. It has like 3,500 miles on it. We're going to put our money where our mouth is. And I'm wondering if our competition will do the same. So, Spencer, go ahead and start the truck. When we pour this much water in, what we're going to do is that this filter is going to collect it. It's going to emulsify the water in the filter element, and it's not going to let anything, any debris, it's not letting air, it's not letting vapor, it's not letting dirt, and it's not letting water pass. Again, we take out 99.96% of the water. Once it reaches its saturation point, it will eventually blow this fuse. And instead, um, you know, blowing the fuse is a lot better option than ruining your fuel injection system. Because there's people out there that have poured water in the fuel tanks. There's people that have picked up a horrible amount of water. And what we're going to do is right here, you can see the pressure. It's collected all this, and it's already popped the fuse. We save fuel injection systems. You're going to see the engine shut down in just a second. And you're not going to see any cuts on this right now. And as we sit here and wait, it seems like it takes forever. But now, instead of that water putting you on the side of the road, passing through and shutting down your fuel injection system, this filter just collected everything, and it stopped it from going through. All right, we're on the shoulder now. We've saved the fuel injection system, which I'm going to show you in just a second. There's two ways we can go about this. We can take and put our filters on and clean that water up out of this tank. You can see how much water is on the bottom. We still have water up here mixed in with the fuel. Eventually, that'll separate. And you can see how clear this is, and it's pure water. And Well, not pure water, but it's mixed with some fuel. We can clean up our fuel this way. Remember, that's a gallon and a half, so it would take a few of these filters. Or we could have a service call done, drain this filter how this should be done, and then that way we have good fuel in here with a set of filter changes. Spencer's taking the pre-screen off, and you can, if you look at the clarity, that's not fuel draining out right now, that's water. And see this? This is a lot more water than it is fuel down here, so we're draining out the majority of the water. This is going to be cloudy for some time. We're going to put new filters on here, a new fuse, and then we're going to show you how we can take that water that's kind of a more of emulsified water, it's mixed in with the fuel. We're going to show you how we're going to clean that up. And but while we're cleaning that up, we're going to start the engine up. We're going to show you how the engine is still good, the fuel injection system. But look at the clarity. It's not purified water, but it's a lot of water. This is the extended length extreme water separator filter. It's a XWS 3002 XL. We're going to put this one on since we do have them here. Same water separating capability, just more capacity than the shorter one. But those of you that want a longer filter, here you go. Spencer is able to just dump out the pre screen, the stainless steel wire mesh that's serviceable. We'll do a time lapse here. We're going to show you how we clear up this fuel. So.
Since we don't have that much fuel to work with, we'll let it sit here and just cycle for a minute. Then we're going to start the engine back up. It's, you, you can see this clearing up. It's clearing up a lot. Truck's running. Come on in here. Not even a check engine light. I thank you for your time. There's more information at fastride.com. For those of you that'd like to see a live demonstration of that water test, come to the side diesel extravaganza. We're gonna be putting on a live demonstration, pouring fuel right in the fuel tank. We're gonna show you how it, we're gonna show you what we did today. Have a blessed day.